Hello Equestrians and welcome back to my channel. Sorry, it's a bit of a different setup for the start of this video. Um, this is a very long overdue ulcer update video and the reason for that is unfortunately one of my SD cards was corrupted and I've lost some really good footage which is very annoying. <laughs> Um, some of it is from the Equestrian Mindset event, which I'm really gutted about because I had a little a little moment with John T. Evans um, on camera and that footage has gone, um, so that sucks. But anyway, I've just popped on at the start of this video to give you some context, but before I do, let's roll the intro. So before this video starts, um, I had filmed the previous day, so I had sort of talked you through what I was doing. Um, Peps was having her scope, I can't remember what day it was now, but she was having a scope, I think it was on the Tuesday, and um, unfortunately I missed a message from the vets that day to say that their scoping machine was broken. So Peps unfortunately was starved overnight for no reason um, and then I saw the message from the vet in the morning and then I had to do the same again because they were going to get a replacement scope for the next day which they did. So yeah I had to scope her again which I felt awful for like having to do it you know two days in a row. I had to scope her, I mean I had to starve her again. Um, two days in a row which wasn't very nice but that's where this video starts is with the second scope so the footage that is missing is basically like the days leading up to the first scope which didn't end up happening and I just wanted to say that there are some distressing um, images in this video so if you don't want to watch them please skip forward to this time I'll leave it on the screen I just want to also say that Please don't panic when you do, if you do watch it and you see the distressing images, um, the vet said it's very normal. Um, basically she just bursts a blood vessel in her nose um, and that is very normal, um, but it, it really surprised me and shocked me because they hadn't sort of briefed me on that happening, potentially. Um, and there was a lot of blood, so it just like was a bit of a shock and I felt really bad for her. Yeah, had major mum guilt, mum guilt anyway for starving her the previous night when she didn't need to be starved. Um, especially when she's got the ulcers already, you know, and you're just, oh. Anyway, I am bringing back past trauma, so <laughs> we'll just move on. Um, so yes, that is where this video starts. I also included some footage from uh, my first lesson after I knew the ulcers were kind of clearing up. Um, because I didn't want to do that until I knew that the medication was working and also a trip to my instructor's yard um, for some show prep and the next vlog you'll see will be our first show since um, she had her ulcers but because I lost a load of footage I just wanted to bulk this vlog out a little bit so if it seems a bit scattered and a bit random I do apologize but that's why um, I hope you guys enjoy it anyway and yeah let's uh, let's get into the video hi guys so it's the next day I didn't really film anything last night because you'd already someone's ringing me sorry about that <laughs> um I've, my car's going in for a service tomorrow so that's who was ringing anyway yeah i didn't really film much of last night because i thought you've seen it the night before and no one needs to see a horse being starved twice oh it makes me sound awful doesn't it um just fingers crossed her stomach is clear this morning because i do not want to have to go through this again it is currently 10 to 10 cowboy time yeehaw <laughs> And um, the vet is due at half ten, so I'm probably just going to go get a bed up and then, yeah, then hopefully the vet will be here. I've just been to the farm shop as well, stocked up on my good old Spillers horse feeds, some ready grass, what else did I get? Naf respirator boost, uh, some Omega equine treats and some horse licks because pets will need a lot of treats after today. Yeah, I don't even want to go around there because I feel so bad, but... I should really just chuck the bed up so the vet's got like a nice clean, clear area to work in. So yeah, let's go.
girl. You're so good. Go left. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so there's a couple of nodules still there. We're just going to inflate it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so there's obviously they were the same ones that were there previous or in the same location, mm -hmm. but they're a lot less angry than last time. Yeah. Um, so we'll just wait for it to sort of unfold a little bit. That's a bit wild there. Um, because obviously it looks from at the moment it looks like she's lost those other two areas. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Um, because this looks beautiful. This side. Yeah. That's amazing. And I think she had some um, fibrous. Um, She's still got a couple of little areas of fibrous tissue. Can you see the bits that look a bit whiter on the mm -hmm. top there? Um, but on the whole, that looks amazing. I'm so pleased, Peppa. <laughs> well done. Um, so yeah, we've obviously there are there are still um, sort of areas of inflammation there. But considering these were also inflamed around here, yeah. I think that looks so much better. Um, so I'm really really pleased. So the medication's definitely doing definitely, it. Definitely, definitely doing its job. Um, we don't always know um, if they're, they're prone to having a low level of the disease anyway. Yeah. Um, so it could be that for her, that's completely resolved because okay. that could be her, you know, her normal. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, it's definitely going in the right direction. We continue with medication. I'm really, really happy because they look so much better. Wow. Oh, it's so good. Just generally all around as well, it just looks so much happier. Yeah. Especially around here. Yeah, that looks side amazing. looks so much better. It's so good. Good girl. Oh, you're so good, Peppa. <laughs> what a clever girly. Aww. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. And obviously you're you're noticing difference in her as well, which yeah. is fabulous. So, um, you know, combined, I'm, I'm really happy with how she's responding to the treatment there. This looks amazing up here. <laughs> it's so pink and beautiful. <laughs> hey, good girl. Happy days. Two of the lesions have actually completely cleared up. She had four, so two of them have completely gone now. And um, the tissue looks really healthy. So the vet was really impressed with that. Um, and yeah, so we're just gonna keep on with the medication and then slowly wean her off. But yeah, good news guys. Hopefully uh, you'll be right as rain before too long. Sorry about the nosebleed, I'm sorry but that should be the last time you have to go through that again. So, <laughs> Hello, Equestrians, and welcome back to my channel. And say hi to Peps. Hello. Peps is feeling much better. You will have seen by now that her ulcers or lesions or whatever they were um, have started to clear up on the medication that she's on. So we are actually having our first lesson um, in quite some time since um, before I knew about the ulcers really um, so yeah I'm excited I don't know how she's going to be I've not actually schooled her much recently um, we did do some filming for bed down which by the time this comes out you'll will have seen it but it's an April Fool's video um, and yeah I'm really excited to show you but we went on the common and this one was absolutely absolutely bonkers so <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna be today it's also been snowing this morning it's really really cold so could be an interesting one <laughs> have gone for black today which isn't my usual choice for peps it's not my favorite color on her but I do love this vivendi pad with the uh, silver trim this was very kindly gifted to me as was my lovely equiboodle black shimmer um, there's the equiboodle logo on the sleeve there the vixen hoodie and I just thought I would pair the two together I thought they look really nice together um, so yeah, thanks to both Vivendi and Equiboodle for very kindly gifting these to me um, on separate occasions, but yeah, just thought they would go together. Um, I did have another outfit planned, but it is freezing cold. I will not be taking my Vixen hoodie off. Um, so yeah, just getting ready and we'll jump on in a minute. So I am actually going to my instructor's yard with Peps on Sunday for a showing clinic. It'll be our first outing in quite some time. So a little bit nervous, but also very excited. Um, and it is a search for the star, search for a star event. So you can get talent spotted at these events. So that's exciting. Could be, 
could be the motivation we need to go on a little showing out in sorry the lighting is horrendous because we're both wearing dark well she's got dark coat and i'm wearing a dark hoodie and we're in a dark stable so it's not very good apologies for the the poor content as always um but yeah that should be really exciting i'm looking forward to that hopefully she'll be okay um lots of calming cookies to keep her okay traveling and stuff um I was hoping that my instructor could help me piece together. I've got my um, LW Equine double bridle there because her current double bridle is a little bit too thick, like the leather, leather is a bit too thick on her. So I bought a new one. So I'm hoping my instructor might just help me piece that together. Um, but yeah, cause I've never done that before. <laughs> the one I bought was already together and the person who sold it to me helped me to fit it to peps. <laughs> it's really bad. I know how to ride in one. I don't know how to take one apart and put it together again. Um, but I think I will pop my usual bridle on just for now so I can get on and warm up. And then hopefully she can just help me with that afterwards if she's got time. If not, I don't know. <laughs> she might help me figure it out on Sunday if she's got time to. Uh, but yeah, let's get going. You're very pretty. Even prettier with your ears forward. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Um, I think we've come to an impasse. Pips is like, what on earth is going on? I don't know if we'll get past that. Can we go? I'm not sure. It's all right. And that's okay. I've just realised I can. I've just realised I do know how to zoom. Right, Trot. I'm not going to worry too much about zooming. I want to watch you. Okay, Trot. Twenty meter circle up here. Trot. Trot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're trying a 20 meter circle. Right, round the inside leg, off we go, pets trot. Yeah, just get together. Good girl. Let's see, you're off trot. Trot, feed her into that contact. Good girl, squeeze forward, forward. Nicely, there we go. Suddenly she gets it. Yeah, good, doesn't, yeah, that's nice. Not hanging on one rein, can't remember. But uh, we used to have a bit of a hang on one rein. Good girl, now we bring it in smaller. There we go, nice. Good girl, trot, trot, keep the energy. Little flick up, good girl. See, it's hard for her, the small circle. And then start to spiral out. Trying to watch her. So we've done it on the left, how does it compare? I think she moves out easier on this rain, but uh, I, I, th I thought the left frame was good as well. That's nice, Trot. Good. That's nice. Good girl. So let's do it one more. So come in small, spiral out, and then when we get to a point we're comfortable in a big circle, we'll go forwards to canter. There's a good girl. Sit. And then start to spiral out. Good girly. Feel her into the outside rein. Keep the head around the inside leg. Good girl. That's it. So you're feeding her into it and she can't fall out. Now support her. We'll hold the outside leg back as we ride canter. Good girl. Forward, forward. Good. There we go. Nice. Oh, it's a bit, bit dark. Yeah. It just when you leg yield into canter, you just got to hold her with the outside leg. Otherwise, it's so easy for horses to favour the wrong leg. Just come round the inside leg a bit. That's it. Good girl. There you go. Right, when you're ready, keep the leg there for the transition down. Drive forward into the contact. Forward, forward. She's relaxing down now. Yeah, she just came against you as you went canter to trot. And now she's happy again down. Good girl. Sit, yep. Yeah. Let's see if we can zoom. Yeah. Yeah. Stepping out, good steps. That's it, right, we're okay. Oh, we're off again. Right, ma make her trot now, good girl. That's it, trot, trot. <laughs> trot. 
Trot. Trot's in. She's very happy today. Trot. Trot. Good girl. Forward. Good girl. Yeah. Kelly, yeah. She's loving life. Trot. Trot. She was giving you nice canters because, of course, she's been hacking. She's enjoyed herself. When, when you hack up, uh, like, the common up the hill, does she trot or is she more favouring the canter? Yeah. This canter's very effortless though. Well done. Now, keep her into the bridle as you ask for trot. And into the contact. Good girl. And then leg on, trotting. Good girl. Go on. She's all right. As she goes into trot, now keep her in that trot. Good girl. Just have your leg just there. That's it. Right, a three loop serpentine from the top. So we're changing the flexion on each turn. Good girl. Coming round, support her through the turns. That's it, keep the legs on. Right inside leg. Good girl, Peps. There you go. Yeah, good girl, she can do it. It's not, not the best there where it gets a bit yucky. Good, go on. Is it, yeah? Come back up again on a serpentine. Keeping her round, good girl. Probably best to keep the whip in that left hand then. Good girl. There you go. And then come down the centre line at A. I'll move. You just keep trotting towards me. Come straight at me. Doesn't change, change rain, change rain. Inside leg. Dot. Trot, trot. Good girl. So she uses herself through the turn, doesn't come back at you. Good girl, forward, forward. Good girl. Oh, we're brave peps. Okay, just have a canter figure of eight. It's all right. Trot round, we go up in the top corner. So we'll canter at F. Come across. Canter, trot, canter. Oh, hang on. That's it. Here you go there. That's right. Now we're going to canter left. Forward. Good. And then coming across, simple change over X. And breathe. Ooh. And canter. Good girl. And we'll have a little push on up that side once you get out of the wet bit. Little tail. Good girl. Now ride the contact forward, forward, and a down transition when you're ready. Keeping leg to hand, inside flexion. Trot and trot and trot. Good girl. Trot. Well done. It's nice. Oh, nice long and low there. Good. Yeah, see if you can give a bit of contact there and we'll see if she go long and low. Good girl, that's it. Keep breathing. Give her a bit longer rain, see if she'll take it. Go on, feed her into that long, low contact. Good girl, go on, forward, forward. Good girl, and the tractor. Good girl. Hi guys, sorry, I didn't really uh, update you after my lesson the other day because Cassie was here tidying my tack room. Video coming soon, or it might already be up before this one. But yeah, it was just a hectic day. Um, the lesson went really, really well. I thought Peps was absolutely amazing. Um, she definitely is looking and feeling a lot better. She seems much freer from behind. So all good things. I have just packed my car with all my, uh, with all my gear. We're heading off to my instructor's yard today. For a showing clinic it is a search for a star clinic as well so we might get talent scouted don't get too excited <laughs> um but yeah everything's packed in the car because there are two horses going in the lorry so i don't want to be over payload i thought i'd just throw the tack in the boot um, and follow behind so yeah i'm looking forward to it hopefully i'll get some footage nick is coming with me so i'm gonna throw the camera at her. sorry nick <laughs> um and yeah hopefully we're just like going to learn and to have a good time and 
there'll be like a raffle on and stuff so yeah it should be good fun um i am feeling really sick and really nervous don't know why i think i'm just worried that like i'm taking pets out too soon um and that she's gonna get stressed for, with the traveling um but fingers crossed i have just given her a short feed um so that she, like i've lined her stomach and she's had a calming cookie and i'll probably give her another one when i get there um so yeah, fingers crossed we just have a good day. The sun is shining. It is a beautiful day. So I'm just gonna take it all in and try and enjoy myself. <laughs> oh. You ready? Yeah. You You're gonna be a good girl.
I'm not interested by the whip at all. I just need to carry it, so seize it. Yeah. And then doesn't do anything exactly what I do. I don't know what you do it. That's better. Yeah, come on. Trot. Close your right leg. Wait, wait. Go. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. Go on, Pat. That's yeah. it. She can go. <laughs> go on, Pat. Yeah, man. <laughs> 
That's a fair trot. Lovely. Yeah. Sorry that I didn't end the last sort of bit of vlogging um, after my instructor's yard. Um, I'd gone with someone whose horse was a bad loader, so we were too busy dealing with that for me to address the camera. And then obviously when you get back, it's like, oh, get the horses done, go home, and then kind of forget about it. Um, but yeah, I was really pleased with Peps this day. Um, she seemed a little up and back at me still, but you know, she was only just kind of coming back from ulcer treatment and being ridden a bit more often. So I think part of it was like maybe still a little bit uncomfortable and also partly kind of learned behavior to be honest, um, or ex perhaps expecting there to be pain. Yeah, it took a little while to kind of get her going, but I was really chuffed with her. She hadn't been off the yard in such a long time. Um, there was a lot going on, lots of horses there. Um, there was a horse and trap that kept coming past and winding the horses up like my instructor's horses or her mum's horses were like going crazy in the field next to them. So they were they were really good. I, yeah, I, I don't have a bad word to say about her. She was just, you know, she went in there. She tried her best for me. Um, we were both just very unfit, which obviously is understandable because we hadn't been able to do much for so long um so yeah just a case of like getting our fitness up now we are um we are doing that we're getting much better and she has a learner now three times a week so i get a bit of a break um it's also helpful for me because one of the things i struggle to do with her now is hacking um just purely because i don't have a lot of time and a lot of the time i have hazel with me so i can't really take her out so it's been nice to to have someone who is mostly hacking her so she still gets to do something that she really enjoys it's also really good for fitness so it's nice for me on the days that i have if i'm schooling or whatever she seems to have a bit more bounce and a bit more energy a bit more go about her she just seems like back to her old self now. I'm trying to think when she ended the ulcer treatment. Probably about six weeks or so since I started weaning her off the medication. Um, and yeah, she seems to have a new lease of life. She's really happy in herself and I'm, I'm so chuffed, I'm so happy. So yeah, if you guys ever have a an inkling that something might be wrong with your horse, because at the end of the day, you know them better than anybody else, um, just get them looked at. It doesn't hurt to look um, you know, I actually had her looked at last year because that's when the symptoms started. So she started last year, probably at the start of the year actually, like sort of January time, 2021 is when her symptoms started, obviously very like minor. And I thought, okay, let's just go through, you know, everything. She normally has her teeth done in January anyway. So January she had the dentist out and then I just went through everything like I bought her a new saddle, um, changed her bridle, got a bit fitter out, had her back looked at, then I had the vet out because I thought perhaps it was her hocks because a lot of the time um, bigger horses like her struggle with um, their hocks because you know there's a lot of weight to them. They came back clear so I just kind of left it. There wasn't really much going on. She wasn't lame. The vet did a full you know she looked up looked at me riding her, looked at her on the ground, um, on a you know on a soft surface, on a hard surface and she said I can see what you mean like she's not quite coming through behind but she's also not lame on it and because there was nothing wrong we just you kind of just have to wait sometimes for something to present itself. We went to the bed down weekend uh, in December and she just did not feel herself at all. I, I didn't know at the time if it was because it was just a new environment and there was so much going on. We also rushed so we got off, we got there late so I got off the lorry and it was like tack up and we just have to go and get on. Didn't really get much of a warm up so I wasn't sure if that was what was going on but she wasn't jumping. She was not going forward at all and I, no matter what I did I wasn't really getting much of a response from her. So that was kind of the first big like oh I'm not sure uh, something's not right and then in January I noticed that she was getting really aggressive towards other horses which we've all 
you all know Peps by now, um, but if you don't, she's a very, very sweet mare. She's not marish in the slightest. She's never put her ears back or gone to kick a horse or bite a horse, but I started to notice things like that. And that's when I thought, no, I'm, I'm gonna get her scoped because it's the only thing now that I can think of to do for her. And sure enough, that's where we found the glandular ulcers. So it's definitely worth talking to your vet if you think something's going on and it might take a little while investigating as well like it has literally taken me about a year to figure out what was going on with her and the symptoms just gradually got worse but yeah like I say you know your horse better than anyone else if they're if their character changes or if they're not going forward in the school it's usually a sign that there's something going on so yeah I'm just really really happy to have my girl back and we're just having a good time at the moment I do really want to take her out to some shows but um, me and my husband have actually bought our first house um, and we're like looking at moving in very soon. So it's kind of hard. I don't really want to book a show in and then all of a sudden they're like, right, it's all go, like it's time for you to move. <laughs> and then I have to cancel. So yeah, I think I'm just kind of in limbo at the moment, but I'm just enjoying what I'm doing with her. I actually lunged her on Tuesday for the first time in a while and she was mega been having lessons again regularly and she's been going really really sweetly yeah i hope you guys have found this video interesting and have enjoyed you know seeing pepper's progress from from this point um or will see more progress from this point because a lot of time has passed since this footage and she is going so much better but yeah, thank you all for watching and for being patient with me because I'm not the most um, consistent influencer <laughs> out there. I am trying my best to be, but it's been difficult, obviously, where she hasn't been able to do all that much. I've not really been able to take her out or do anything fun, so it's been hard to think of what to do. In fact, I was thinking of bringing back some of my old content that you guys used to enjoy, like my um, reacting to my followers fails videos and my try on hauls. So if that's something you guys would like to see, um, then do comment down below and let me know. Or if you have any ideas of what you would like to see from me, just leave, leave a comment and I will see what I can do for you. But yes, anyway, I will stop waffling and let you guys get on with your day. But um, thank you all for watching and until the next one guys, I'll see you all later. Bye.